Hey, it's Jessica, and I'm here with these Croc Complete by Versailles Laga. I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyways, it's from Belgium. Um, I've seen this before on YouTube. Some people have had them. Um, I don't know if you can get these in the States, mind you, because the other YouTubers who I've seen with these are also Canadians. Um, there's Fry, because apparently he thinks they're cat treats. They're not yours. Hmm? They're not yours. Mm. Bender ran away because uh, my computer's been freaking out because I'm processing a video. And it likes to uh, freak out. If it pops up, you'll hear it in the background. Oh, now the TV's being stupid. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, so I only have this one thing from uh, this brand. Unfortunately. And it is, I got the berry flavored. Um, this is only good for like hamsters, gerbils, mice, rats, I think I already said that. Animals that can have milk ingredients, because it does include milk ingredients. It's not for you. Um, I don't know why the screen is being all fuzzy. I think I need to wipe the lens. So excuse me for a second. Better? 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 Oh, a little bit. So I'm trying to get to the English. It's in like every language here. There's the English. Let's see if I can focus it. Focus. Focus. So it's a tasty and healthy snack for various rodents. Uh, what else does it say? The crunchy shell satisfies their gnawing instinct, and the succulent berry filling has been enriched with vitamins and omega-3, provides up to a maximum of 25% of the daily feed ration. Com complimentary feed for rodents. I know it's not focusing, so now... That doesn't tell you anything about the ingredients. I think it's the side panels that have the ingredients, but like I said, I have to find the English. There we go, English. Nutritional additives, vitamin A, vitamin D3, vitamin E, antioxidants, colorants, composition, cereals, oils, and fats, 2% omega-3 fatty acids, derivatives of vegetable origin, whatever that means, milk and milk, milk and milk derivatives, um, fruit, minerals, and that's it. So yeah, since it says milk... Don't give these to your guinea pigs. And they do have other treats, like, um, they get, like, vegetable crispies, and supposedly that has no milk ingredients in it, so that would be safe. And then they have other stuff that's called crunchy something or other, and I know one of them tastes like cheese, so I think that'd be really good for the hamsters. They'd probably really love it. Um, this is just a small bag. It's 50 grams. I think I paid $3.99 for this, so it wasn't too bad. Um, I got it in Ottawa when uh, Pat had his tooth taken out. Luckily, we were walking on Bank Street, and we found this pet store, and we are like, Pat was like, oh, you want to go in? And I was like, sure, like, maybe they'll have stuff that's different. And they did, and they had a couple of these, so I bought one. Just trying to get one out so I can show you what it looks like. You're not going to want it. I'm going to show you what it is, Fry. Look, you want that? Please tell me you don't. No, don't lick it. No, no. So it's apparently a cat approved. It kind of looks like a whiskers treat, to be honest. I thought that when I first opened it. <laughs> so it's um, kind of like a purple on the outside. And not quite sure what the filling looks like. I don't feel like breaking it open. I've given one once to all my hamsters. And they seemed to, well, it was gone really quickly. I can tell you that, especially with the dwarfs. And uh, Ruby liked it. I didn't At first I didn't think she liked it because I found half of it still on her second level beside her bowl, and I was like, oh, it's weird that she left it, but then the next day it was gone, so I guess she just wasn't being a piggy, and she wanted only half. You cannot have this. You have your own treats. No, no. I didn't put it down for you. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna, um, I found a website, a Canadian website. I, they might ship to the U.S. if you're really interested. It's probably gonna be expensive if they do. But petland.ca, I'll put a link though because I know nobody wants to actually type that in. Too much work, I know. I hate it also. What I also hate is when people put links in their description and they're not actual links, like they're not active links. 
Do you actually have to have like the HTTP to make it an active link that you can click on? Because even copy and pasting is too much work. So I'll make sure the, there's a link below, which is petland.ca. It's the only website I've found so far that sells them. It's a Canadian, so I might buy some, uh, a few more off of their website since I don't know when I'm going to be back in Ottawa, especially at that pet store, because um, the pet smart we went to doesn't carry these. I know some people have said that their pet value carries these. Mine doesn't, because my pet value sucks. So yeah, so if you can check out your pet value if you have one near you. Mine doesn't sell them, but like I said, or you can try online. Just like the other Canadian websites don't sell them, at least not yet, like uh, Montreal Critters, they don't have them. And uh, Canadian Pet Connection, which is where I get my hay from, doesn't have them. And Flower Town Chinchillas don't have them either, I don't think. I'll have to check again. But I don't think they have them either yet. At least not yet. Mind you, they have the food. I think I caught them selling the food, and I'm like, the food's not even that good. Because the guinea pig food that they have is like a seeded food. It's like a muesli. So it's, I wouldn't be selling that. So I'm surprised they don't have the treats. They might. I will check. Well, check if they do, I'll put that link down, too, because some people might prefer to shop at that store than Petland.ca. I've only shopped there once before, and that was for a hamster wheel, and that was, like, a couple of years ago. So, yeah, you can check these out. They're from Belgium, so they are pretty good. Oh, and they have four different flavors of these ones, too, if you want to, if you have hamsters and you want to, um, like, get these crock and plate ones. There's berry, there's cheese, there's herb, which is kind of weird. There's apple, and there's something else, I can't think of it. There's another flavor. I got berry, because they only had, I think, this one and the herb one at that pet store that I went to, and I was like, hmm, well. I don't have yogurt drops in my hamster, so I figured I'll get the berry, because they don't have anything berry for treats. And I figured they'd like that a lot, which they do. But like I said, they do have a couple of other t different types of treats that are not these crispy on the outside and like a filling on the inside, so, but you'll have to check out petline.ca, the links to check that out. So yeah, I'm just making this video because somebody asked me when they saw that I had this in my haul video, so that's about it, they won't tell you too much else. So if you have any questions about anything, go ahead and ask, and bye bye And there's Fry. Bye bye Oh, Bender is now on the ground. Not being a scaredy cat in the computer. Bye bye.